What's good YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about what is better for you, playing solo or playing as a team. They both have their benefits and some drawbacks depending on how you play. So without further ado, let's get into this banger. Playing solo means you're the lone wolf, like the alpha, the master of your own fate. But what are the real benefits and drawbacks of playing solo? One of the biggest perks of playing solo is getting more rewards. So how the reward system actually works is you get 50% of the rewards for just completing the mission, like so with your team. But the other 50% comes from the titans that you actually kill. Therefore, playing solo gives you more rewards. But does it actually? It really depends. If you're a skill player that can clear missions fast, I recommend playing solo. Personally, when I'm grinding, I play in a team. I feel that it's much faster. Even though I get less rewards, I still get a decent amount of kills. Playing solo will also enhance your skills a lot. Like, you have to rely on your own abilities. There's no, there's no one saving you. So, like, naturally, you'll just become way better at the game. In other words, you'll become the alpha. There's some drawbacks to playing solo keeping streaks. Let's discuss what streaks actually do. Every time you reach a 50 streak milestone, you'll be rewarded with gems. So let's say you have a zero streak, and then you'll have to get 50 kills to be rewarded gems, and then you'll have to get 50 kills again to get more gems, so on, so on, so on, you know what I'm saying? You also need a 20,000 kill streak to do achievement if you want Shiki Clan, you know what I'm saying? Essentially, yeah, solo does make it harder to keep your streak because you're like die more it's kind of obvious but you know it's like playing solo makes missions harder and slower pause yes i'm not gonna explain this in depth but like you know it's kind of obvious um you have less people will be slower and these people will be harder because you're the one all the work <laughs> fuck why i'm even talking uh on to uh what was it oh on to uh team play yeah yeah Playing in a team is so beneficial, clearing missions so much faster, actual being entertaining, and being able to complete raids in a decent time, not including them fucking sweet. Completing raids in a team is so much better than playing solo and completing a raid. It's so stressful guarding Aaron when you're solo, so like, I reckon playing in a team, you know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about, do you actually get more rewards as you're playing in a team? Well... In my opinion, yes, that's if you are slow at playing solo. I recommend doing three people for missions and four people for big rage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the most annoying thing is getting fucking flashbanged every time you want to see something. It is annoying, but on a real note, like, you're getting a whole fucking titan in your team, so like, it's not that bad, is it? The reason why I recommended four people doing a raid at once is because... Having too much people in a raid can be annoying as it buffs Eren severely and makes him so much more tanky. Yes, you will have more blades, but it still takes longer. Overall, playing solo or in a team is really up to you. If you're struggling finding teammates, join my Discord server, link in the description. If I did miss anything, please tell me in the comments below. Anyways guys, I'll be taking my leave and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace out.